mean, that's what I do. I, I, I guess mean, I I've pay been, attention to the wrong shit. I've been doing martial arts since I was a little kid. I mean, maintaining your body is a big part of that. It's one of the most difficult parts of martial arts is not getting injured all the time. You're con because martial arts are all about hurting people. Right. So the, it's practicing hurting each other. So like you have to find good partners. And There's you also always that guy good, in class that yeah. goes too fucking hard. There's always that. That's Charlie Murphy told me about that guy. Yeah, it's a big problem. Charlie sent me, and I only lasted a couple weeks at the dojo. My fucking ADD. Oh, maybe I will learn how to cook now. You know, I just I left. <laughs> <laughs> so I never. But Charlie was just like, all right, here's the deal. You're gonna go down there. When was and, this? Oh, uh, back when we doing the rich bitch tour. Really? Yeah. He. You were, you were he, doing martial. What kind of martial arts were you doing? Whatever style he has, his fucking black dude. I only I only lasted like two weeks. I, I fucking I actually took jujitsu with Dom Fig. <laughs> did you really? In the late nineties, I lasted like five weeks of doing that. I actually did all right. I did all right. But then the guy teaching, he couldn't speak English, and this lady like dislocated like her fucking rib cage because something <laughs> fucked up happened, and he didn't know what to do. And I just remembered like. You know, I was coming home with bruises and shit. It was like that was like when pilot season you could actually get on something and I was just like, the <laughs> fuck am I doing? Why don't I make enough money where I have security? <laughs> Back when you something. could actually get on something. Isn't yeah, that funny? You remember development deals? Yeah. And shit could actually happen and You would go to Montreal and get a deal and then you'd be set. I just remember the guy who goes, Skip the hip. It's like this, uh, no good. It's like this, ah, he's good. That was the whole fucking class. Portuguese, like, yeah. Like this, no, like this. Hip escape, hip escape, yeah. shrimp. Yeah. S- skip the hip. Yeah. Whatever the fuck he was saying. And, um, you know, I, I learned some shit. I still know if I'm on my back how to get somebody into an arm bar. But it's probably, well, it's probably, I look at martial arts, it's like comedy. So, like, I think that that worked in the late 90s. But now that would be, it'd be like a corny joke now. And I think like that movie, like, dude, right. you're going to fucking try that? Like an eight-year-old knows how to get out of that. Like you're funny at the office. You think you're going to go kill at the Ryman Auditorium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? That's the difference. Yeah, it's more like a time thing. Where, like, that was probably state of the art shit. Whatever was yeah. state of the art then, I mean, you're talking to it. I'm, oh my God, it was like 18 years ago. There's no fucking way right. that move. Everybody knows that moves. It's like playing drums. Well, actually, all the standard old school moves of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu are still good. They're all still good if you're good at them. Like, there's right. some guys that are really good at what you would call basic is a the weird classics. word. Yeah, basic is a weird word, and people get upset when you say their jujitsu is very basic. But some of the best guys ever have what you would call basic jujitsu. It's not that it's basic, it's just they have only a small amount of moves that they use, but they have them sharpened to a razor's edge. Right. And it's not that they not, they're not capable of doing everything else. It's just some guys, like there's guys that are known for just having a guillotine choke. That's all they do. And you just got to avoid that fucking guillotine choke and they might still get you with it. There's some yeah. guys that just win by triangle all the time, only by triangle. And there's guys who only win by heel hook. There's like oh, a bunch of that's different that's guys that like that. that. Who's like the California kid? Uriah Faber? Oh, dude, that guy's hilarious. Did you see yeah. When, when he was on The Ultimate Fighter? Sure. Okay. That thing that he, when he gave that kid shit early on when he was trying to make the show. Uh huh. And whatever. He got caught and pick a move, whatever the fuck. Rear naked choke or something uh-huh. like that. And yeah. then when the kid went, the kid goes in and he loses rear naked choke. And as he went out, like uh, Uriah just goes, like, Yeah. He goes, That's what he's known for. Look him up. <laughs> And what I loved about that, it was like old school parenting. Like, yeah. no fucking sympathy. It's just like, and, it, and, it, and I thought it was a very empowering thing to do to that person. Like, if he, once he got past the defeat, like, you'd be sitting there going like, yeah, what the fuck? You know that this is what the guy did. Let him beat you with anything else but that. That's so and, easy and, said. And this is on me. It's but, so much easier said than done. It's, it's, it's incredibly difficult to stop someone who's really good at something if they're really good at it. Oh, I don't think I'd have a problem, Joe. I've, I've, <laughs> I've rented the last 20 years. <laughs> you fucking boxer. 